Hi, we're trying one more time. Let's hope um, this time we're straight. It's going to take just a second. We're, um, we're working on the lighting and the, um, the video. If you're watching, if you'll post a comment, I'd really appreciate it. Um, Facebook's being a little um, finicky tonight. <laughs> so I'm trying to do this landscape so you get a better view. Um, so if you are watching, if you'll just say hi, that would be great. Um, I want to make sure that it's being shown in uh, landscape mode, not that I'm sideways. Oh, hi, Terry. Thanks for stopping. Great. Hal says we're in the right, the right view now, so that's awesome. Thanks. Okay, tonight what I'm doing is I'm going to do a real short follow-up on the um, backgrounds that I made the other day with the glue, the clear view sheets, the liquid colors, reinkers, and the silks. I wanted to show you the finished products. The silks, oh wait, that's going to give a glare. The silks turned out gorgeous. They, they dried immediately. Um, I went ahead and I put on a dusty rose background on it and I really like the, the look. The reinkers and the liquid colors. Where the colors were saturated, even two days later, they were still damp. So I had to put backs on these. Um, hi, Joan. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry about the mix-up. I don't, I haven't perfected it yet. <laughs> I'm trying hard. Um, so here's the one with the liquid colors. As you can see, there's quite a bit of saturation of colors. This is the acetate side, the clear view side, but on the back it was damp. So I just didn't want to take a chance. So I've just gone ahead and put cardstock on the back. Same with the reinkers. And to show you again the difference in the textures. Now today's video, what I'm going to do, it's a real similar technique. The difference is that we're going to add glitter to it and we're going to add texture and substance. And I don't know about you, like I said last night, I love glitter. Absolutely love glitter. But I have friends and family that don't really like getting cards that are um, covered in glitter when they open them in their home and there's glitter on the carpet, there's glitter on the table, there's glitter on their hands. So this technique will allow you as the card maker to go in and create an absolutely amazing glitter background, but there'll be no residue that will come off. Here's one of the cards and I'll show you another view of it um, close up. I realize the light, the way I've got it situated, um, is a little disadvantage. Here's the second card I made. And here's the third. And that one you can really see the sparkle and shine. This one is done with silks. This one is done with the reinkers. And this one is done with liquid colors. And again, I apologize for the glare there. Um, I'm going to show you to, uh, step by step. I will show you um, one of them and then the rest. Um, you would do the same exact same way. If you want me to show you an additional, that will be, you know, that would be fine too. So let me switch the, uh, the camera. Um, hold on just a minute. You're going to see my, oh, you're going to see the light. Sorry about that. Oops. Okay, it's going to take a minute for me to set everything up here. I want to make sure I have things in view for you. And, okay, okay.
Okay, it's going to take me just a second. I want to um, see if I can pick up the... Um, oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. There's a, there's a slight delay with my iPad. Okay, good. If you have any questions while we're doing this, just let me know. Again, we're using Fun Stamper's Journey um, Clearview Sheets. I've cut these four by four, but you can cut them any size that you would like. You're going to use white glue Again, our Journey Craft Glue works beautifully with this, but being that this isn't going to be used to adhere directly to a card, I'm going to use the less expensive glue and save this for my card itself. We're going to use the sponge daubers again, um, the dauber dowels with the um, little sponges on the end. You, this I find is the easiest. You can use your finger. You can use a dowel if you had a dowel, anything that would give you a surface. Remember whatever you use it with, especially with the liquid colors, is that it's going to um, discolor the item. So you want to be careful. Okay, we're going to do um, the white glue. Here's the colors I'm using tonight. I'm using Rich Coral Liquid Color, Limeade Splash Liquid Color, and Orange Creamsicle Liquid Color. And um, then we're going to add some Journey Sparkle Dust. You could also use the Journey Sparkle Cuts, which are a little thicker, a little bigger cut. And then, if I have time, I thought it would be fun, I don't know if this will work, but I thought it would be fun to try it with Starfetti. Because the Starfetti is pretty um, small, and so we'll do a test one on that. That one I won't promise it'll come out. Another thing that's a good, good for this is our um, craft, um, craft knife that's just come out, and also our cutting mat. So let's get started. Hi Jana and Joan and Terry. Thank you for watching tonight. I appreciate it. What we're going to do is we're going to put some glue in the middle and you're just going to make a circle probably about a size of a quarter, maybe a little bit bigger. And you want enough glue that it's, you're going to be able to come all the way out. I'd kind of do little circle, circular... Oh, good thing I caught that. I have two pieces there. Um, I do little circular motions. You want to come all the way out to the edges. Again, this part is identical to the other demo I did um, on Friday night. And this doesn't, this version won't take as long to dry, but you will need to allow some drying time. Okay, so we're gonna. Hi, Patricia, thanks for stopping. Oh, Jan, I'm so glad you could drop in too. That's awesome. I always like to work with a toothpick just to hold it in place. The glue is going to give a frosted look to your acetate sheet. So that's one of the reasons you want to bring it all the way to the edge. Then you don't have to worry about covering up the corners or that. If you get excess, just dab it off on a paper towel. Now I'm going to use Rich Coral, Limeade Splash, and Orange Creamsicle. Hi, Beverly. Where are you at in Arizona? I'm in Chandler. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I always shake up my bottles just a little bit. And then we're going to drop just a few drops here. There's no right or wrong to this. 
every single one will be unique there's no, there's not going to be two alike I'm going to use the um, limeade splash now one thing I will tell you on this limeade splash in the liquid colors has no odor to it I have asthma but when you go to the pads the ink pads the limeade splash and the lemon drop do have unique order, odors to them and as a result those are the two that I do not have in reinkers or in um, the ink pads I have my pads literally done with um, liquid colors I took one of the Creata palettes and created my own and then there's no odor most people it doesn't impact but just if you are scent sensitive the limeade splash in our in our ink pads and our um, reinkers there is a distinct odor to it and it is bothersome to some people okay so now I have my colors here you don't want to smear it all together we'll end up with brown so we want to come in and just gently move the colors around blending them together coming out to the edges and you can always add more color in if you feel you've got too much it'll feel um, gluey or, or goopy I don't know the right word um, if it gets really thick on this just come over and wipe it off if you have a color you want to bring in just dip and then come over again no right or wrong I love this though that you can have all the sparkle all the shine and the receiver won't have any of the mess you will have um, some glitter on your work surface I'm not gonna you know not gonna lie there but it's not like the normal that we see when we're really putting glitter on things okay almost done here again you want to be sure that you've gone all the way over and you know gone completely into the ends I always keep baby wipes handy um, this is pretty self-contained so the mess is most of it's on the fingers and on the work surface there next I'm going to take our sparkle dust and I'm just going to do pinches of it and spread it really genuine genu oh now I can't I'm going to be very generous <laughs> with the with the glitter here and I have a fan going here because it's hot in Arizona and um, I want to um, make sure we don't blow this all over Oh, Beverly, you aren't too um, you aren't too far from us then. Like I said, I'm in Chandler. Hi, Pat. Thanks for stopping by. Also, so I I don't think you can see with the camera, but this is just literally covered with glitter, and because it's glue, the glitter sticking to it. I have very little around the exterior now I'm gonna take okay my clear view sheet was four by four I'm taking a piece of regular tissue paper it just needs to be larger than the four by four so this I don't know 12 by 8 it's just you want it bigger because what we're doing is we're crumpling it we're opening it and we're crumpling it again next I'm going to you want you want all the little ridges in there so that's that's a good thing I'm gonna lay it on top and gently tap down grab a paper towel and just fold it up and then gently press you want the glue to adhere to the tissue paper and again this is much much bigger than I need but it's better to have it too big 
then um, not large enough. And you'll see some of the color will come through, that's fine, don't worry. What we're doing is adhering the tissue paper to the acetate. Okay. Now this is going to take a while to dry, but I want to move this. And also this one. Now see the beautiful background? And as it dries, this area that you're seeing here that's white, that's going to dry clear because we've used white glue. Bring it up just a little. Oops. Have to wait till this. Let me see. Let me stand up. This. I think you're getting a little bit of a shadow in it. Oh, there, that's good. Anyway, so there's a million sparkles here. We're going to allow it to completely dry. And like I said, it's going to take a couple of hours, but because it's got the tissue paper on it, it is drying completely overnight. Once it's completely dry, this is where the um, our cutting mat and our new craft knife come into play. I won't cut it now because it's wet, but I would take the craft knife and literally just cut right along the edge, pull away the tissue paper, cut right along the edge, pull away the tissue paper until you've done all four sides. But again, look how gorgeous that is. Now this is the one with the liquid colors. I'm gonna turn it upside down and I'm just gonna set it over here to dry. And then let me show you, this is the finished one with the liquid colors. This is the one that I did and this is, um, this is rich coral and then I just used one of our stamp sets using the rich coral on it. Just thought it made a really cute background. Oh, thank you, Beverly. This is the one that's done with the re-inkers. Now, I won't redo this one, but this was kind of cool. What I did is I put the acetate just on the back, and this is what they call it, do, D, DIY Hoops AC0378. Look how cute. And then I just went ahead and did some um, die cut pine cones, and I took a strip of the acetate and put it down here because I didn't need the full 4x4. Four four. The acetate um, sheets. I do not recommend cutting them with your die with thin metal dies. They um they have a tendency to not cut through completely. And I ended up having to use the craft knife. Um it was really not good. And what happened, let me show you. I've got it handy. Here it is. This one the paper cuts beautifully with our thin metal dies. This is the one that I cut with the die and I have a little bit of raggedy edges. So if you have thin metal dies, I wouldn't use it on the acetate sheets. If you have steel rule dies, there should not be any issue. The steel rule dies are made um, for you know thicker material and so the they should cut through the um, acetate sheet with no problem. So what I'm gonna do, again, this one's just a test. I wanna try it with the Starfetti. And, oh, thank you, Jana. I, you know, I'm just such a fan of backgrounds. I love making my own backgrounds. And so to find something like this, that the, um, the sparkle is gonna be contained, it's just, you know, it's just wonderful. So, okay, we're going to do the exact same thing. Oh, wait a sec, before I really get going here. I'm going to use Cranberry Bliss, Bronze Silk, and Fresh Sage. And I just want to make sure 
that we've got these really sh uh, shaken well before I get all the glue out. The bronze, the gold, and the silver are absolutely my favorite colors in our silks, although I do like all of them. Um, oh, and then the sparkle silk, that's the other one. The sparkle silk is another one that's awesome. Okay, so again, about a quarter size, a new um, dauber. You can use your fingers, you can use a dowel, anything, if you have a makeup sponge, just anything, um, you know, that you want to spread works. I like this because it pretty much keeps my fingers out of it. And I have a good, um, I have good control with this. I've done it with a um, pencil where you use the um, eraser end. It works. It tends to leave more of a trail. And so um, you get more you know, more of a ridge into things. Oh, thank you, everybody. I'm really glad you're enjoying the videos. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If I miss any questions, I do go back in afterwards and um, answer, you know, answer the questions. I am a Fun Stampers Journey Coach. If you want to place an order, my business page is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary director and we've got a phenomenal sale going on right now of 20% um, off all solid color cardstock and 20% off all the ink pads so it's an awesome awesome time to add to your color collection and tomorrow morning at 11 they're going to announce a fun stampers journey is going to announce a special bundle that will be available this week only. They're gonna announce a bundle once a week, um, every week this month on Mondays. And there's a surprise item in this week's bundle that anyone that orders will get it right away and the rest of the um, customer base and coaches that don't order will have to wait until February. These are the silks. What I like about them is how they they burst. It looks like it looks like a flower opening up or something underwater. I just I just think it's cool. I really like it. If you find your silks are getting a little thick, sometimes they do, just use an eyedropper and add water in. And that will help thin. You just want to do a drop at a time, though. Um, be really careful that you don't get them too runny. Okay. I've done quite a few of these. I can tell my fingers tired. I hold this firm and then just hit right there and sometimes you have to hit a little harder than others but they come out okay and here's the copper I abs the, co the copper on this I absolutely love. I wouldn't mind a whole sheet of just the copper um, done this way. Okay, again, now this one, if I was just going to do it normal, I would put the glitter on it, um, either the sparkle dust or the um, sparkle cuts, the cuts... Um, are bigger, but I want to try the Starfetti. So let's see what happens. I'm hoping that we'll get the same type of effect because of the glue drying um, clear and also because these have shine to them and they're, they're small and they're flat. 
Maybe we'll do a combination of both the, the glitter and this. Because you don't want to fill this in totally. You've got to, um, you've, we've got to leave some of the area wet so that the, um, the tissue paper will stick to it. And this is just regular tissue paper I'm using. It doesn't have to be expensive. It's not brand name. You know, whatever works. Okay, so I've done that. Let me add just a little bit of the glitter so that we get a little more shine to it too. I mean, can we have too much shine, honestly? If you're watching this via um, the repeat play or the, um, you know, uh, not not live, please still leave a comment that you're watching, where you're, you know, watching from, if there's one of the um, techniques you like the best or one of the cards. And the little starfettis have a little bit of... Um, static electricity to them. Okay, so now again, just an oversized piece of tissue paper, crumpling it up. We, we want the texture. The texture is going to show through when it dries, and so the texture is really important. Okay, lay this down. And again, this one is a test because I'm using the Starfetti for the first time. I'm hoping that the glue and everything will still stick. And what's the worst that can happen? I'm at a little bit of time, a little bit of glue, and a little bit of ink. But it does look like it is adhering. Um, you're not going to be able to see the color because it's, you know, it's the white glue. There's not as much background in this as the um, liquid color one had. Okay, and again, this is just a paper towel that I've folded up. I come underneath and I just pick up the sheet with the toothpick. Oh, this is pretty. I think this one's going to be amazing when it dries. This one, the Starfetti, has an iridescent shine to it. I'm hoping you can see. Okay, let me try. Let me try to get a little bit closer. Oh, there we go. There we go. See the sparkle? That the What you're seeing in the blue is the Starfetti. And it looks like we've got a really good coverage back here. So what I would do is I would turn it so the bottom is facing up. And we're just going to let this air dry. Um, it's going to need to dry for at least a couple of hours. When I get done with it, I'll flip it back over so that I can see the outline of my acetate sheet. I'll use my craft knife and cut right along the edge so that um, I get the tissue paper off. When the tissue paper is off, you can decide whether you want to back it with um, cardstock or whether you want to just put it directly onto your, um, under your card. The backing it adds a little bit extra of um, stability, so it's totally up to you how you want to do it. Um, I'll leave that choice yours. Mine, I've gone ahead. Oh, hi, Melissa. Thanks for coming in and watching. Beverly, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Um, so at least, let me go back and recap the three different ones we did that I had done earlier. This one is the one that's done with the um, liquid colors. And it's identical to the one I did earlier. I mounted it onto the rich coral cardstock. And then this one I just have plain, but I probably will put a white liner inside so it's a little easier for anything handwritten. Added some um, sparkle dot, sparkle drops to the um, flowers that I had stamped out. Those are stamped 
Oh, Beverly, I, I'm a coach for Fun Stampers Journey. And my website is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. And after the video um, is finished, I will go in and put it at the header at the top. Oh, Connie, um, no problem. What will, what will happen? I sh wish I'm showing how to create these um, backgrounds, and I showed a step-by-step -step tutorial. And these ones actually are loaded with glitter, and because of the way they've been done, you know how you know how normally when we make a card and we do this, glitter's all over. Well, with this, because it's an acetate sheet. The glitter is secured underneath. And so anyway, so I took a stamped image, added it with foam squares to the top, um, did these with the rich coral stamp. And this one is floral accents is the stamp set. These are all going to be in my blog this coming week too. And I'll have all the details on products. And I'll also try to um, put some more information um, at the bottom of the video so that you've got it. Okay, so this is the one that was done with glue, liquid colors, glitter or sparkle dust, and just regular tissue paper. Okay. This one I didn't demonstrate tonight, but if you go back to my video from Friday, you will see this technique demonstrated, but without the glitter on it. This is using the reinkers, and these reinkers were rich coral, again, all Fun Stamper's Journey, green olive, and orange creamsicle. Now, these ones, when I blended them together, they did form a little bit of a brown. And that's why I went to more of a winter theme with this. And the white you're seeing on here is our white acrylic paint. I just put a little bit out, put it on a brush, and dabbed it on. I wanted it to have that snow effect. The background you're seeing here was done with our Journey Glaze. And it dries firm, and it also dries silky looking. And so you get a, you get a glisten look to it. The little um, hoop is from our accessories called Do It Your DIY Hoops. Just really cute. There's six of them in here, two of each size, and they're real thin. So they're great, you know, for a card. You won't you won't have any problems with you know mailing. They're pretty thin. So I I might put a little bit of padding over there. You may pay a little extra postage on that. And then the final one, which is Wait a minute, I wanna pick this up. This is the last one I demonstrated. Again, this is not dry, so where you're seeing milky is gonna dry clear. This is the one I just demonstrated. This one is a mix of glue, silks, sparkle dust, and then I did go in and add some of our Starfetti um, glitter stars. They're just cute. And these, these are going to turn out beautiful. I can see the iridescence. I think I could have added more in without a problem, but there's really a lot of sparkling shine. Now this one, this is the same colors as the one we just demonstrated. Um, this was Cranberry Bliss, Fresh Sage, and Bronze. And this is how it turned out. And I wish you could see this up close. I'm going to try to do some really um, up close photos. But when I look at this, there's like a million stars in here, sparkles, all different colors. Um, I have to, there's a little bit of delay here. So I want to see if I can show you. There's a glare because of the light. I apologize, I wish. But you you get an idea of some of the sparkle and shine that's there. 
Anyway, so this was the last one. The difference is this one we added the little stars in also. And I went in and I, I cut this out. Just a minute, I can tell you what die I used. This is the orna ornamental label die. Oh, thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Marie. Um, I'm just I'm just having fun with them. And again, there's another live video on on this page that I did Friday night, and I show step by step how to do it um, without using the tissue paper. Um, those items those turned out really good too let me do a real quick recap on those this is one done with the reinkers i think it looks like agate this one was done with liquid colors this is another reinker one and this is one done with um the spark the silks and I back these. Now, the silk one dried immediately. There's no glitter on this. There's no tissue paper. The, the silk one dried immediately. So that one was great. However, the one with the reinkers and the one with the liquid colors, because of the deep saturation of color, two days later, they were still damp at the saturation points. So I just went ahead and I put backings on them, but you can see where some of the colors come through. So I think even if you're doing plain, no glitter, that I would use the tissue paper, one, because it gives you additional texture, but also with the tissue paper, this is gonna dry in just a couple of hours versus a couple of days. And then the other two, this was the other card I did. This again is one without the um, sparkle in it, without the glitter. Here's the two side by side. I'm waiting. I'm watching on my iPad. My phone's up above, so I can't see. And I want to make sure that you can actually see them. And there's there's a little bit of a delay here, but in, you can see the a little bit of the difference. And the one on the left is the one with the glitter. The one on the right has no glitter. And also the difference in the texture. So again, if you use the tissue paper, that's going to, um, you know, that's going to help. Now I'm going to switch the camera again. You get to see my, my uh, craft things for a minute. And I'm going to try, okay. I'm going to be in your face for a second. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. So anyway, thanks for watching tonight. I really appreciate it. And um, the, the video, I'm going to keep it. So it's, um, you could come back in and view if you want to use it as a, tutorial you're free to share it with others you just once it goes live it'll take a couple minutes after I finish here but you are welcome to share it um, you know on your pages there's not a problem it's a public um, page and so the items can be easily shared and again if there's any fun stampers journey products you would like I greatly appreciate your orders my business page is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. You're very welcome. Thank you everyone for watching tonight and we'll have more live feeds in the future. If you have a suggestion or a recommendation of something you'd like to see, please let me know. I'm more than happy to share. Um, I, ha I don't have everything, but I have a lot of the products. I have a lot of um, ideas and I love sharing. So I would be happy to share with all of you too. Just leave a note in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Everybody have an awesome weekend. Thanks again. Bye.